Assalamu alaikum. In uh, this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to make uh, REST service in few lines of code uh, using Spring Boot and the Groove Script. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, web interface uh, for uh, these uh, REST services using uh, AngularJS. Um, here, let's show you my workspace. Uh, you can see uh, here I have two Groovy script files. One is application GBA and the other one application MongoDB. I'm using uh, this one to access a SQL database. It's embedded SQL database called H2. Uh, so it's actually embedded inside the Fajr uh, created from uh, this script. And this one is accessing MongoDB uh, that uh, provided uh, in your server, or uh, you can uh, add the connection configuration to application.properties of uh, MongoDB. So uh, each of these files, it's a standalone application. Um, the application is just only this file. I will show you. Now um, let's check our code. Uh, here in uh, application GBA, you can see uh, adding dependency uh, by add grab uh, for uh, H2 database, uh, data GBA, and data rest. Uh, this is Spring Boot application, and uh, this REST service uh, to be hidden to. Uh, Tell the front end to not show uh, version attribute, which is auditable uh, element in, in inside entity. And here I have two entities, person and item, and finally two crude repository for each source. Uh, in uh, MongoDB, you can see I don't have H2. Uh, I'm st I already started the Mongo database on this. Uh, server uh, so I will use it uh, in this demo uh, here adding Mongo, uh, MongoDB dependency uh, for Spring Data MongoDB and REST too and using uh, add document instead of uh, entity um, and there is no uh, entity scan if we check here you can see that I'm um, adding entity scan here uh, there is no need for that and finally have the same two uh, repositories let's check application dot uh, because I am using uh, default uh, configuration of MongoDB so I uh, here I, I didn't put any uh, property for that and uh, this uh, attribute uh, this property for Telling that the root path for all resources is slash ABI, and this one to enable uh, H2 console um, web console uh, interface for uh, H2 database. Let's start our demo. I'm using uh, Spring Boot CLI. It's command line uh, giving you uh, some. Uh, some functionality to, for example, in this case, I'm going to build Fajr uh, from my application script. So here, okay. Now I had, I have my Fajr. Let's. Java dash jar add jar. Let's start it. Okay. Once started, let's try um, this to access uh, person resources. Here it's. Uh, it's new, it's empty, there is no uh, persons. And now I will show you um, 
sorry I will show you uh, my web interface here it's home have a list of my resources uh, person and items okay let's create new one test, test. save create other one Two. and have search here okay if you click on uh, one of these sources you can see it's showing value and you can update it normally and here you can delete this resource uh, let me show you uh, the h2 console here okay this is uh, the h2 console for uh, you can use it to access your data uh, from embedded database h2 like this and now let's uh, make same demo for mongodb so we are going to create Badger from MongoDB script and then go home. Okay, not started yet. Oh, sorry. Have to, to start the application actually. <laughs> okay okay now we can see that it's connected directly to uh, mongo database i have on this uh, machine and same you can update it or delete some resources and this sure is not working as i'm using uh, mongodb um, I want to show you uh, too that uh, um, the web interface that I have uh, this is um, index uh, HTML here I have dependency I'm using a tool called power it's make uh, um, dependency management for CSS and JavaScript libraries you need and um, I have here my uh, angular application uh, this is some configuration for um, press the angular to tell uh, the root uh, uh, root bus uh, root uri and um, adding some feature for some uh, features for some methods like get uh, list and profile and here adding the id uh, adding the ID actually Spring Boot is not returning ID in uh, JSON uh, object so I have to extract it from URI and add it in uh, my object uh, here is getting uh, to be hidden uh, fields in my case it's just version and this is, uh, is a common controller used for handling error if you add any um, wrong name of resource to redirect you to home and then here I have a root provider it's have home list uh, edit and new uh, finally my controllers home controller just showing resources and list is showing resources and make filtration on fields to, to not be shown uh, and uh, this is edit controller have two methods save and destroy 
save using put and destroy is using remove and then I will retire to list page and this one is a new controller actually it's using the same template of edit uh, but uh, with some um, uh, adaptation uh, here in edit uh, I have the resource itself but in new I have list of resources so I can uh, create a new one here and save I'm uh, using post method to create new one and finally this is filtered to uh, convert from field name to uh, title style uh, here is my templates this is for details which used in edit and new and this one is list and this is home uh, actually it's very simple uh, code and few uh, few number of lines uh, of code uh, giving you a good uh, crude application uh, I will share with you the github uh, link for my uh, for this uh, application or actually this uh, sample uh, and uh, I hope to get uh, feedback from you and please send me your questions. Thank you and bye.